folks, you were Edward on my travels today, passing the one of the striker facilities here in Kalamazoo. We're uh, out here, just uh, some wild turkeys walking there along the fence, just uh, east of Portage Street, the big Pfizer plant back here in the background. Um, all Pfizer property there on that side of the street. We're gonna go down through Portage on the way back home. And uh, the crews are down here working. The areas that I was working in last night, I just received a phone call and they are well manned and us old retired guys, they said can stay home. Have yeah, plenty of, of work workers to help in the cleanup efforts. I am tired. I could still go and help. I'm going to drive through here and take a little look. Um, of course, all the power is still out. Be right back with you. Of course, almost all the power in the city of Portage is out. Um, there were just a couple of injuries. They said nothing uh, life-threatening so far. No deaths. Um, we'll pick up on that a little farther up here and we see some more damage. We're in a, an easy-going part of Portage right now. Downtown Portage is right up here next to the Senior Center. Uh, that is now a shelter for those that have become homeless here. Um, that's right, going to be up here on our right-hand side. Be back in a minute. Of course, the schools are all closed here today, and most of the businesses without power. <coughs> excuse me. There's the senior center right there on the right. Doesn't look too busy, but they've opened it as a homeless shelter. Uh, looks like a lot of people have found other other places to go. Um, right down here is uh, Portage uh, City Hall. That was. All tore up last night. You can still see a lot of trees over there are down. Sorry about the video here. We're gonna go up ahead and see some more. A lot of real severe damage occurred right up here at the next intersection. There's a strip mall. Well, actually, two of them. There's big, big trees right there that are down. Um, another tree here. Very much uh, damaged. A lot of big trees all down. Um, but right up here there are actually two little strip malls that are destroyed we're going to be going right by there um, something else right here large pine trees companies in there re-rigging the uh, electrical coming along here we're starting to see damage to the buildings, the roof, the roof, the roofs of the buildings. People already up on their roofs. Little homes here. A lot of damage, a lot of trees. The telephone poles cracked right off, of course. Tree going right through the guy's front 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 of his of his living room right there. But I think that house has sat there empty for a while though. Still messed up now. The dentist offices and so forth. Little roof damage. Some shingles, but next door, the home next door and behind it are destroyed. Go very slow here. We'll pan over this way, and the street right here is impassable. I know people from my church that live down at the end of that street on Dogwood. Um, it's the only way in and out of there. 
Look at this place here. Totally destroyed. Everything here around it, behind it. Up ahead here. Big trees, all of them, of course. This is a powerful storm. these side streets unpassable just lucky nobody was killed unbelievable right up here are the uh, is the strip mall malls there's one on the left and the right uh, that took a hit and then a brand new apartment complex just beyond we'll see that the trees back here in the swamp everything's knocked down yeah beautiful multi-story multi-million dollar complex uh beautiful complex and from what i heard it's uh it's in really bad shape here's the right aid knocked around some here but right behind it on the corner is a strip mall that's wiped out Several businesses, barber shop, tobacconist, liquor store, several other businesses in there. A lot of camera crews out here taking a look at this. And look at the camera crews. Fox 17, Fox 17. I don't know who's in the red van. <laughs> Gonna get up here and uh, take a little bit of a. Uh, See, we can't go any farther uh, up into that neighborhood. Um, I do know a little way around it, though. But I don't know if I can come in from that side. I'll give it a shot here in a second. So I just came around the corner here. And here's the, uh, the back side of the, uh, the establishments all along here. Bad damage and trees and so forth look up ahead here's a big tree down in the yard a lot more so uh, with that being said I don't believe I'm going to be able to get into the area where the uh, that brand big brand new apartment building nobody was living in there yet multi-million dollar project beautiful uh, area there at green spire green spire apartments and uh only thing they said on the news this morning was is that it was uh it was in really bad shape and it was a good thing that nobody was living in there so don't know if i'll be able to get a shot of that um until a little later there's a lot of uh things still going on down there that only professional crews are allowed in um, a little bit later, we'll get in there in the cleanup effort. Uh, I'll get a couple calls, and we'll go and respond to that. Until then, I'm going to go home and uh, get changed out here, and then uh, go back over to where the little meeting area is and for helping and cutting some wood. Talk to you all later. Have a better day.